Governor Cuomo making an unprecedented move to help end gun violence by declaring a state disaster emergency. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez explains the plan. As people were out enjoying a sunny July 4th in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx, a man casually walked along Hunts Point Avenue and opened fire on a 34 year old man, the shooting adding to a disturbing increase in gun violence in New York City. I want to go on vacation because of gun violence every day. We went from one epidemic. To another epidemic. We went from COVID to the epidemic of gun violence. This year to date, there have been 765 shootings in the city, compared to 555 shootings during the same time last year, a nearly 38% increase. Today, Governor Cuomo declared a first of its kind state disaster emergency on gun violence. We want to do with gun violence what we just did with COVID. That's what we want. We want the same level of attention, the same level of energy. Cuomo's disaster plan will create a new Office of Gun Violence Prevention to treat the problem as a public health issue. Local police departments will share incident information to target gun violence hotspots. $138.7 million will be invested in prevention programs and jobs for at-risk youth. The plan will also create a new state police gun trafficking unit to stop the flow of illegal guns into New York. That's the question. How they come here? How they get here? Commissioner Shea says in combating gun violence, much of the police department's focus is on gangs. He says about half the shootings reported in New York City are gang related. I think uh, uh, the state and the country should be doing everything possible to reduce gun violence, and mostly that means getting guns out of people's hands. The governor also signed new legislation that will hold gun manufacturers accountable if their weapons cause harm. It also bans the sale of guns to people with outstanding warrants for a felony or serious offense. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. The governor also announced a new state partnership with John Jay College of Criminal Justice, the help to rather to help find ways to improve police and community relations.